but messy where you are. What are you doing? <laughs> yes, we're doing wood, but thanks very much. Over the last week, few weeks, we've found out about the role concrete will play in the build, but wood is also going to be an integral material in the new house. And back at Branch to tell us all about it is our expert, Darren Hunter. Darren. Hey, Josh. We've got a lot of wood There's here. a lot of wood. There's a lot of wood. Let's, let's talk uh, cladding, because, you know, the, the, the outside is concrete. Yep. Um, but obviously we've got some wooden components and you've got some cladding here. So what have we got at the moment? Yeah, well, look, the concrete, I think a lot of people's perception is concrete's cold, so we're going to warm it up with a bit of, uh, bit of timber. So the first one here is probably the one we're going to go with on the house. Um, there's a whole variety of timbers here. This yep. one here is redwood, quickly yep. running through them. We've got a, a sample of eucalyptus. This is a bit of Baltic pine that's been blonded. Yep. Um, we've, got another, we've got a piece of cedar. We've also got another piece of cedar on the other side that's been oiled. So you, there's a real contrast between the yes. colours. And on the end there, uh, another bit of redwood, I believe. OK. OK, talking the cladding, why redwood? What's, what's the choice behind that? Well, the, the main reason is that um, my clients wanted a wood product that was grown and sourced in New Zealand, so you're not shipping it from, from overseas. Yep. So on the, on the monitor, now we've got a, a house that I've currently been working on, and it's, we're using a cedar product on this particular one, but most cedars come from Canada, so yes. my client wanted to avoid that shipping sort of scenario. So we've gone for redwood, which is very, very similar to cedar. And I noticed um, not a lot of knots in the wood. No. You know, comparative to, say, like macro, which is a common one we use yeah, these days, isn't it? A lot of Kiwis love macro carpet. It's, uh, um, it smells wonderful. Yep. Um, but as you can see, there's some pretty big gnarly knots in this stuff. Now, councils hate the knots yep. because, obviously, there's a tendency for them to pop out. Um, so <laughs> Just glue them back in, don't you? You could glue them back in. Yep. But, um, yeah, they're yep. not a big issue, but um, the powers that be won't allow us to use it. Yep. Um, the redwood is... It's, it's light, it's fragrant, it doesn't need to be coated with anything, you can just let it naturally silver. Um, cedar's the same, but like I say, we just don't want to ship it in from Canada. Okay. We're talking the outside, we've, we've come up with the wood. Are there any other options just before we leave? Yeah, oh, redwood, cedar, uh, macrocarpa could be used if you get something that's not free. Yeah. Um, you could use pine. Yeah. It has to be treated, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, or painting, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, or painted. All right. So then we move inside. What are we doing there? I think we've got a... Uh, an overall view? Yeah, that's from our, uh, from our um, 3D model. So you'll see there there's various sort of tones of timber. Yeah. The, the interior doors, the, the, the internal linings, we haven't made ultimate decisions on that yet. But um, here we are, I'm honest, we've got this, this plywood product on the ceiling. That's where we're leaning towards for the eco house. Yes. Now, it's a pine product, but it's got a, a veneer of a product called Akumi. Now, Akumi's yes, is not ultimately a New Zealand product, but it's very, very thin. So this piece of... Oh, and you've got the stairs. We'll get into that first. Yeah, the stairs are just another example of um, a treatment of, of pine and or a timber product, more, more importantly. And this is another house that I worked on a few years ago. This is plywood that's been um, stained purple. So there's a, whole, <laughs> there's a whole range of things that you could have a, have a play around with. So people can understand that's, that's a normal piece of plywood. Yep, it's, it's, it's white in colour, so it hasn't been treated. That's yep. a big giveaway. And then what happens is it's veneered with uh, whatever type of wood you want to put on Pretty it, much. basically, isn't yeah. it? We've yeah. used a kumi. Now, that's, that's got a coat on it. That's, like the photo showed, it's, it's quite sort of a yellowy colour. That's the natural timber, so it's pretty uneventful. But yep. then slap a coat on it, and it comes up like that. Now, on the photo, we had, if you grab that little bat in there, Josh. This one? Yeah. We use the batten to cover all the joins. Okay. So there's a nice contrast between the Akumi ply and this macrocarpa batten, which is predominantly what we'd use. And other woods that we're going to use, if you know, you're obviously in the overall picture that we had, the 3D view, um, there was different tones. Yep. Will you be doing that with the wood, or will you be doing that with our lacquers um, or a combo? A combo of both. The timbers have got a natural um, colour. We're just going to enhance those colours with, yep. with um, some sort of oil slash... Um, uh, coating. And you, so, right, we've got here, we've got a couple of products. Yep, we've got, um, we've got a raw linseed oil, which is, um, which is a natural product, obviously. Yep. There's two sorts, there's raw and there's boiled. Boiled yes. is basically, it boils the impurities out of it. Yes. This one is a, um, a Danish oil. But, but he, they ultimately allow the moisture to get into the timber and enhance the grain. A, poly, a product like polyurethane, for instance, puts a, a puts sheen or a coat, more like a mirror coat. But you can, you, can, you can do a lot of different options. There's creams, there's waxes, there's oils, obviously the polyurethane. And today they, they do mixes of both. The waxes give you a different finish, don't they? 
Definitely, definitely. Um, so it's a bit, it's just a choice factor, isn't it? Yep, yep. And to the point of actually staining as well. Yep. So you can put all sorts of things. Yep. Don't forget our bottles. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, our, we, dra we drank yep. our homework oh, and homework. we brought okay. them back. Fantastic. Yep. So you can take them away and get started on that driveway. I've got a little project for this in mind, so we'll show you that in coming weeks. Just remind everyone at home what, what, what we, where you're going to put them. You're going to put them into... We Well, that's a secret. Maybe we wait for the next week or so. It's okay. going to be crushed, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and, uh, we should be grateful we didn't crush it ourselves. <laughs> 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 That's our show today. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thank you. Absolutely. We'll see you tomorrow when we catch up with David White, who went to the premiere of the Bond, Bond movie. movie. Oh, my God. We'll see if it lives up to its expectations and all the hype, and I'm sure it will. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow.